Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, now we're gonna go through lesson 28 for loops with artists. Okay, so on the first one we have a video. Please watch this video. But I explained what for loop is in the previous lesson, lesson 27. If you um, search on my channel, you'll find it. Okay, cool. So go to the next one. All right, so here, so there's a toolbox in the category mode. Okay, so we have few more blocks here so this is a free play okay it's so experiment with the for loop and the counter variable we talked about variable before variable is just a way to um, hold an information in a program that you can use later okay so drag out few blocks okay let's see what blocks we have so we have move forward move forward by counter so instead of number we're using the variable okay looks good we have used this left forward right left before it's a loop we have used this in the previous lesson so it's a from so starting end and that's like the change so if and there's a repeat block and then the variable we have a brush okay so you can set color because since this is the artist we can set random color you can set alpha so alpha is like opacity so it can go lighter or yeah when we experiment we'll see how it works and then we can also set width width and then there's a comment okay so yeah all right, let's try something right so mm, we can just do like easy one that we before we did before well we can do another thing all right let's do how can we set okay can we set a counter no. All right, let's do this one. We can just move forward by 90 and then we turn right and then that's going to make a... Okay, it's made in square, right? So, okay, cool. So let's go to the next one. All right, continue. Okay, so now we have a challenge, right? So... For loops are great for creating spirals with the artist. Let's try one now, okay? So do this, add a block to move forward using the counter variable, add a turn block, okay? So we already have a for loop, it's starting from 15, finishing 300 and increasing by 15, right? So let's go move forward, okay, action move forward by counter okay since this move forward is increasing every time so i'm guessing this is this has something to do with the counter okay because the counter is also increasing and if you look at the angle they're always i think same right right angle so left 90 degree so turn left Okay, so you use 9 out of 9. Cool. Let's see. Yeah, looks good. Awesome. So you can see the code. It's the same. We assign a counter variable. Counter start with 15. It will, the loop will run until the counter is 300. Okay. Or less than 300. And then each loop, the counter is going to increase 15. Cool. So that's what I, what we saw on the block. All right, let's continue. Cool. Wow, that looks good. Okay, so now we have, okay, so we are building for the next project, right? This means, so if you turn a little bit more or less, then you normally would, would for a shape, it creates a neat effect, okay? So repeat your core from the last level, but turn 89 degree to create the twist. Okay, so from last, okay, so we started 15, we finished at 300, we increased by 15, yeah. And then we did move forward counter, and then it asking us to, turn left 89 degree okay so we go turn left 89 degree okay
Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, let's press run. Oh, that's really awesome. Okay, go to the next one. <laughs> that looks epic. Okay, make three small change to the code from the last level to get this. Okay. All right. So what do we need to do? Okay. We can make three changes. All right. Okay, so uh, let's look at the last one. Okay, it looks like the strokes are a bit thicker. So I'm just gonna change the width first. Okay, let's do press, change width to one. Okay. And the gaps, like the increase size is, I think, is much smaller than the previous one, right? So the gap are really big here. But in this one, gaps are really small. So I'm just gonna try, let's try with one. Okay. And then run, let's see. So I can see this going wrong angle, right? So you just change the angle, right? Okay. I didn't change the width. What happened to my width? Okay, let's set it with two one. Okay, let's try this. Okay. So the width seems okay, but the counter seems okay. It's smaller, so I'm just gonna increase one. So we're going to the next one, all right? So we have, okay, what's the question? Take the angle down to 72 degree to get a spiral pentagon. So it just, it gave us a hint. It, gives, it said the angle will be 72. So let's change the angle and let's see whether it solves the challenge or not. Okay. So let's Seems easy. Cool. I'm just gonna increase the level. Cool. All right. If you look at the code, it's nothing spooky. So we assign the variable. We assign a color for the pen. We assign the width. So if you rec if you can recall, they are the function. Okay. So we didn't create this function. It was there for us already created. Okay, and then we run the loop starting with 15 till 300 and each loop we increase the counter to cool and then we did move forward counter turn right. Awesome, nothing new. Cool, so use the counter inside the set alpha block to get some something like this fade. Okay, so that's where the set alpha is going to come in this hexagon pattern was made using 60, 60 degree turn so yeah we need to do 60 degree give us a hint and we need to set uh, alpha okay so you go brush set alpha and the set use the counter okay they also gave hint for this so use the counter for alpha okay and let's try <laughs> Okay, what's wrong? Okay, I think the color is wrong. Okay, let's change it to green. It seems like greenish. Ah, 
didn't give us a bad like the notification but i think it worked because it's green cool all right yeah <laughs> okay now is the free play all right wow we need to make something like this cool can you see this can i drag here yeah. so we need to make something like this try using counter variable with other drawing elements to make magical images like this one all right let's give it a try so first we know we need to set the brush color okay and then we need to do the house we need to do the for loop okay so loop for counter let's start from 15 okay like the previous one it's just a random number you can you can do 300 and let's keep it one and then we can increase right and then the alpha change as well so we go brush set alpha as the counter okay loop counter and then i think the width is changing as well right so this is big thinner and as we go it's become thicker so i'm just gonna go set with as the strike counter and then we can change it right counter and then we need to move forward so because we are here so move forward and then turn right right okay so we do action move forward same counter variable counter and then we turn right okay okay so turn right this is not okay let's hexagon we use 60 degree right Okay, so the angle seems similar, so I'm just gonna use. Oh, no, I deleted the thing. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we just quickly do this. What we did: set color. We do the loop. We do from fifteen to three hundred. We do set alpha. And, uh, and then we do brush to set with counter and then we move forward counter and then we do action all right we'll do 60 degree okay all right so let's run okay <laughs> that is a bad one okay so we know the width is a problem right so what can we do so let's do some maths let's try to reduce the width okay so to divided by 10 right because it's becoming 15 when we start so we want bit yeah lighter okay but it seems like too much so i'm just gonna do 200 times and then see Okay. Mm, I think the caps I need to make it a bit bigger. So let's do two. Okay. That looks right. Now you see this is not exactly I think sixty degree. Okay, let's let's increase it just one and then see. 
What happened? Oh, cool. I think we got this. All right. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well done. All right. So, yeah, thanks for doing the listen with me. And please subscribe you if you haven't. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.